welcome to Time to Replay, Rediscuss, Castlevania 3. I am now on the last level, finally. Enough hallways, and now finally heading to Dracula's Chambers for the final showdown. Oh man, how am I going to get up there? What the heck we got? Fine, let's go down the stairs then, forget the candles. Oh, great. This really grinds my gears. No, 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 oh, oh, that was close. Almost got crushed from the top this time. You know, I hate levels that scroll, that force you to scroll to the right. Now, earlier, or earlier in the parts of this LP, I had the game forced me to <laughs> scroll up. Now it's forced me to scroll down. Make up your mind. Oh, yes. Oh, no, not these things breaking again. Yes, this these four is probably gonna break apart too. I think yes. Oh no, no! Look out! Look out! I don't like the track in this stage. It just loops over and over again every five to seven seconds. Come on, Konami! You had an awesome track throughout the soundtrack throughout the whole game, and for the final level right here, you couldn't make it epic. Ugh. It's like, it sounds like a sense of urgency here. I guess because you're about to fight Dracula. I don't know. I thought there'd be some food over there. No, instead there's fail. No, no fire weapon. Oh, these pendulums here. They, oh, oh man, I can't go. Oh, I gotta go left. Oh, I gotta deal with these things. Ah. Yeah, I remember this from my first LP, 2008, the clock tower, jumping on the pen, pendulum, pendulums, pendulums, or whatever the heck they're called. The things that are used for grandfather clocks. Yeah, thanks, Bat, for your help. Get out of here, you douche bag. Ah, of course, it responds. Oh, 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 that was close. This, I bet this is gonna be hard. Ah, fail. Do this again. Oh, stupid bat, stop messing me up! <laughs> that was my fault that time. Ah, my fault again. Come on. Ah, bat's fault. Alright, come on. Let's get it right this time. And that bat came at, after me like a bat out of hell. Oh, I would have been really ticked off if the bat knocked me off there. Oh, uh, here we go. This looks like this is it. The final battle. And as you see, I lost my ice weapon, but that's okay. There he is. Get up! Now fight! Here we go with round one of the final battle with Dracula. I right, fight fire with fire. Yep, finally the final battle with Dracula, or the, one of the final battles. This is battle number two here, and yep, freaking mother brain reject over here. That's pretty uh, nasty boss right there, a nasty form of Dracula right there. He's just like spitting blood at you or something. Alright, that part was easy. Now, the final form. Oh, watch out. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Gotta try not to get knocked to those pits. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 watch out. Reminds me a bit of one of the Mega Man 2 boss battles in Dr. Wally's castle. Oh, lucky. Oh. No. Oh, that was stupid. What the heck? Oh, man. I got to start over here again? No, forget that. 
I'm not going through all that again, even though I did to get this part, but <laughs> you guys don't want to see all that again, so let's just skip that. All right, round two with Dracula here. Let me transform into Trevor. It's the wrong place to transform. Because his foot's more powerful. I'm going to have to whoop Dracula real quick, or the first form at least. Come on. All right. I want to hit him right there. Come on. There we go. All right. This part. All right, dang it. I don't have Cephas Fireball item right here. So it's not going to be as easy. Five faces of Dracula right here. So, so this form of Dracula right here is like uh, part crane, part vampire. Ah, oh, this is taking too long. Come on. I feel like I'm fighting Freddy Krueger right here in a nightmare world, one of his many different forms. Oh, man, it's hard to reach up there. Come on. Right, one more face to kill. I might as well face it. I'm going to have to switch to Sifa here. Face palm. I got the I I mean I got the ice. Well yeah, that'll freeze the brain but not really do any damage. Come on. <laughs> I gave him a brain freeze. Ah. I wish I had the fire weapon right here. Now now I want the fire weapon. <laughs> at least I can, at least you can jump a little bit higher than Trevor, because I can actually reach the face right there, but it's hard. I was hoping I could jump on that chair and then get a boost from that and jump off the chair but no. Trevor, Trevor here again. Come on, BS. Oh, I hit him. Okay, I did reach him. Okay. Oh, come on, man. I, I think I want to try with her again. I think she can jump a little bit higher. I'm. Oh, come on. Or at least the 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 weapon she has, the certain the way she's swinging, it, it can actually reach the face right there. All right. So here we go again. Got the freeze power. Need the fireball. Actually, I thought I could freeze the platforms right here, but it doesn't. If I can freeze the platforms, I can actually jump in place and hit Dracula in the face, but I can't. Try with Trevor right here. Weakest whip. I better whip it into shape. Mm. Jeez. Man, I hit him in the face right there. What was that? It's taking forever. Finally got a hit. Man. Oh, jeez. Come on. Mm. All right. Oh, wow. Right in between those two platforms. All right. Now it's on. Now it's on. I got Sifa with firepower here. Now what's up? I noticed the platforms, they turn blue when you have Sifa, then they were like Trevor's color whenever whenever you pick Trevor. That's racist. 
No, that was stupid. Come on, let's get it right. Nice shot. No, oh, there we go. Just don't fall in the pit. I think in the pit of my stomach, I feel success coming on here. I fail. Well, at least this ain't pit fighter. Come on, come on. Ah! You got him in his mohawk. Oh, no, he don't. Right in the face. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? A fourth form? Jeez, what's next? Oh, what? Well, jeez, it took you long enough to appear. There we go. I did it. I cheated, but I did it. Nice. There's the end of Dracula. ECW Mo prevails again. Oh, real similar to Castlevania 1 here. Oh, what's this? A romantic story blossoming? Yeah, dead for now. What's funny is I actually live near a street called Belmont Drive. I guess that's why I was meant to do this LP. Alright, cool. I'll get to show the credits here. See for Vel what? There's the other unlockable character, Grant, who I used in my first LP in 2008. Grant Dynasty. What? Well, Grant you, this is a good game. And I assume that's Alucard. And of course, Trevor. Or Dracula 3 is his name. I'm just kidding. Starring Trevor C. Be Trevor C. Belmont. Ron Moore. Yeah, nice. Because I helped make this game. Not really. And thank you very much for watching here on YouTube. Presented by Konami. Too bad they're not as good as they used to be. But anyway, that is the end of Time to Replay, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Time for the Let's Discuss, or Rediscuss rather. As you guys know, I did this in 2008 for the first time, and this is part of my series of completing games that I did not complete in my LPs in the past. And yeah, so I... Never fully played this all the way through. I've seen the whole game because, like I said, I've seen the toss run on YouTube years ago. But I've never fully played through the game myself until now. So this is very, very fun to do. And, yeah, this game is just awesome. With like three playable characters that you can unlock. And, I mean, you don't have to use those. You can still play through the game as Trevor. And that's it. You don't have to have any help. But it's still cool that... You have these three playable characters, Sifa, Grant, and Alucard. And yeah, I mean, so this game is very awesome. Different routes, different endings. And personally, Simon's Quest is still my favorite of the three for the NES. 
But in my opinion, though, after seeing this game and playing through it, um, I would say this one is the hardest and the best of all three on the NES. And so, yeah, when I was a kid, I only got to play Castlevanias 1 and 2. As I grew a little bit older, I got to play Castlevania Bloodlines. Um, and then over the years, I got older into my 20s, late teens, early 20s, played Castlevania 64. I know those games are not the most popular, but I still think those two on 64 are still great. But I never got to play Castlevania 3 when I was a kid. I think I mentioned this before, but me and my cousin would play a lot of Simon's Quest. And then one day we saw an ad, I think it was in Toys R Us, where we saw Castlevania 3. He saw it and he says, whoa, Ronnie, look, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse was being advertised. And, man, we just freaking lost it. It's like, whoa, there's a third Castlevania? But at the time, we couldn't really afford the game. And I think there's other games that we wanted more than that. So I don't know about him, but I've never got to actually play it when I was a kid. I never really sat down and played it for the first time until like 2008 when I did this LP the first time. So it was very fun to go back and do this LP again. And I am glad to have finished the game. And yeah, I had to cheat because the game is very hard. But better to do that than to not finish it. So that's the end of this LP. I give this game a 9 out of 10. Very epic, an awesome soundtrack, good challenge. There's some trolling going on, some BS, but there's a good. it's a good challenge. And the great graphics, great design of the game. Very replayable. The game's freaking awesome. Cast Fan 3 Dracula's Curse deserves an ECW out of 10. All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.